DeJounte Murray is one of the NBA's most underrated stars. DeJounte is in the midst of an absolute breakout season for himself this year, and due to all the hard work that he's put in over the years and the great play that he's had this season, DeJounte was rewarded with his first ever NBA All-Star appearance. But quickly, before we get the video started, for those of you who may not know, I'm Juicy Sports, I make opinionative NBA content, and if you guys enjoy videos similar to this, hit that subscribe button, that like button, and that post notification bell. But anyways, let's get into it. DeJounte Murray was drafted with the number 29 overall selection all the way back in the 2016 NBA draft. Going into the draft, the one main bread and butter of DeJounte's game was certainly his defensive ability. The way that he can play individual defense as well as off-ball defense was seen as very, very good. But the one concern about DeJounte going into the draft was his offensive game. And at that time, DeJounte didn't necessarily have much of an offensive game. He certainly had the ability to hit an occasional catch-and-shoot mid-range jump shot as well as a decent ability ability to drive all the way to the basket, but besides that, he was pretty limited and raw offensively. And due to the fact that he wasn't necessarily all that good offensively, that was the reason why he fell all the way down later in the first round. But the fact that DeJounte was drafted by the San Antonio Spurs was certainly seen as a positive due to the fact that their head coach Greg Popovich has a great track record of developing young players, as well as the San Antonio Spurs system as a whole has always been known for development. In DeJounte's rookie season, he was averaging 3.4 points per game on 43% shooting from the field, 1.1 rebounds, and 1.3 assists. Now, of course, these numbers certainly aren't impressive whatsoever, but you have to remember two factors. The first factor was he wasn't necessarily playing all that minutes or all that many games for the Spurs that season, and he was playing most of his ball in the G League at that time. And also another factor is, as I mentioned before in the video, going into the draft, DeJounte's offensive game was never his bread and butter, and of course, in his rookie season, he wouldn't necessarily improve his offensive abilities that significantly. So it certainly was pretty slow for DeJounte early on. In his second season, DeJounte certainly improved his game basically across the board, but still at that point, he wasn't necessarily something special. He was just a great defender that was improving offensively. In his third season, in the 2018 season, he certainly was improving as well. In the 2019 season as well, he was just continuously improving until the 2020 NBA season where he really had his first really good season. In the 2020 season, DeJounte was averaging 16 points per game on 45% shooting, 7.1 rebounds, and 5.4 assists. And at that point, DeJounte was not only a high-level NBA defender, but his offensive game was also coming along pretty nicely as well. After DeJounte was working on his offensive game tirelessly over the years, DeJounte had the ability to hit a very nice pull-up mid-range jump shot. Of course, on top of the fact that he was able to cross over into a mid-range jump shot, sidestep, step back, had a nice catch-and-shoot mid-range jump shot. Of course, at that point as well, he certainly had the ability to hit a three-point jump shot, but he still, at that point, wasn't necessarily a good three point shooter. In terms of his driving and finishing ability, he still had a pretty nice ability due to the fact that he has a crazy wingspan, does a phenomenal job at finishing around the basket with either hand, either his left or right, has the ability to dunk over players, not necessarily due to the fact that he's super athletic, but it's more so due to the fact that he has a crazy wingspan on him. In terms of his passing and playmaking ability, those abilities certainly improved as well, as at that point he was averaging 5.4 assists per game, which is certainly serviceable as a starting level point guard in my opinion. And overall, DeJounte's over overall game certainly improved pretty significantly compared to where he was at his rookie season. But even besides the major improvements that DeJounte made during the 2020 season, the more impressive thing to me personally is the fact that every season that DeJounte has been in the NBA, he's improved. When you look at his 2016 NBA season compared to 2017, 2018, 2019, and 2020, each and every season his numbers jumped, which is exactly what you want to see from one of your younger players on your team. But DeJounte wasn't stopping there. During the 2021 NBA season, that that's where things really turned around for DeJounte, and at that point, he was going from a really good player to a low-level all-star type guy. In the 2021 NBA season, which is this season, DeJounte is averaging 21 points per game on 46% shooting, 8.3 rebounds, and 9.3 assists. And during this season, I would say DeJounte improved two major aspects of his game. The first aspect is something that I've been talking about the entire video, it's just his overall offensive game, but specifically his three-point jump shot that he's added this season. DeJounte is only shooting around 32 
2% from deep, which still isn't necessarily all that good. But at this point, DeJounte is certainly at the very least a threat from that three-point range, and teams can't necessarily completely back off him because, of course, he could hit the occasional three-point jump shot. But also, he certainly improved his mid-range jump shot, and basically at this point, I would say he's perfecting his mid-range jump shot. He has a nice floater within his game as well now. Of course, he has a nice ability to drive all the way to the basket. He basically has all the abilities that he had last year. They're just a little more refined. But the major thing that DeJounte added to his game this year, in my opinion, is his passing and playmaking ability. When you just look at the numbers during the 2020 season, he was averaging 5.4 assists, and this season he brought his numbers all the way up to 9.3 assists. It's pretty clear that DeJounte improved his passing and playmaking this season pretty significantly. But when you just watch DeJounte out there in the court this season, he just looks a lot more calm out there. He's running the offense a lot better, and he's just finding his teammates a lot better as well. Once DeJounte drives all the way to the basket, he's doing a nice job at kicking out to open shooters. He's doing a nice job at running the pick and roll slash pick and pop and just finding his guys for an easy dunk or layup or maybe a wide open catch and shoot three point shot. And DeJounte overall, I would say the biggest difference is he's keeping his head up a lot more and just looking for his teammates a lot more on top of scoring for himself as well. And I think DeJounte at this point has found the perfect blend of scoring and passing and playmaking, at least in my opinion. And of course, as I mentioned before in the video, due to DeJounte's phenomenal play this season, he was selected with his first ever all-star appearance. Now, of course, he was only selected due to the fact that some players ahead of him were injured, but nonetheless, he was picked to his first ever All-Star game, which is a great achievement for him. But overall, I think at this point, it's pretty clear that DeJounte is playing at the level of a low-level All-Star type guy with the potential of, of course, getting better long-term. But in my opinion, he's not necessarily getting the credit slash recognition that he deserves. I think the general perception around the league about DeJounte is that he's a nice young player, but he's not necessarily much more than that. But of course, as I mentioned, I personally see DeJounte as a low-level all-star type guy with the potential of getting better long term. Based upon the improvements that he's been making throughout his whole NBA career, you wouldn't expect his improvement to stop at this point. But I think the reason why a lot of NBA fans don't see DeJounte as much more than just a decent young player is the fact that he plays for the San Antonio Spurs, and at this point, the Spurs aren't necessarily a good team. And I think due to that fact, not a lot of people are watching the Spurs and don't necessarily realize how good this guy actually is. But in my opinion, if DeJounte Murray wants to get more recognition going forward, I feel like the only way to do so would be if his team, the San Antonio Spurs, is a really good team. If the Spurs did make the playoffs and people saw DeJounte absolutely going off in the playoffs, I think at that point he would get a lot more recognition. But until that point comes, I don't necessarily think DeJounte is going to get all that much recognition from the general NBA fan base. Unless, of course, he puts up ridiculous numbers, then at that point he would be forced to be recognized, basically. But honestly, I think the best chance that DeJounte has to being recognized and not being underrated, in my opinion, would be to make the playoffs, of course. But now, what are my personal expectations for DeJounte going forward long term? So of course, as I mentioned in the video, DeJounte has continuously improved his game each and every season, which shows the tremendous amount of work he's put in on his game, and I would expect that to continue long term as well. I would expect DeJounte to continue to improve his game until he gets to the point where he's a mid-level all-star type guy, and of course, honestly, he can get even better than that as well, but at this point, I would say my expectations would be for DeJounte to be a mid-level all-star type guy, but we'll see what happens going forward. But anyways, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Do you think DeJounte is one of the more underrated stars in the NBA or do you not think so? But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you did enjoy, check one of these two videos popping up now and until the next time, peace out guys.